Hello, Karina Essa here from Social Media Worldwide, and in this video, I want to share with you the ultimate guide to Facebook pixels. Facebook pixels are a piece of code unique to your Facebook advertising account that are installed on web pages to create custom audiences or to measure the conversion of your advertising campaigns. There are many benefits of installing your Facebook pixel code on pages you send traffic to. First, it allows you to set up retargeting campaigns. In other words, it allows you to know who performed a certain action and based on that action they performed, you can advertise to them again. For example, should you want to advertise to people who read a specific blog post but didn't click on the call to action in the blog post, the Facebook pixel allows you to know who they are and therefore allow you to advertise to them again the call to action you made in your blog. You can even know who went on your website but didn't buy a specific item and then advertise a specific item to them. Secondly, it allows you to create much more responsive advertising campaigns as you can target specific people based on their actions. For example, should you have advertised an event and want to advertise it again but exclude people who already bought tickets so as not to waste money advertising to them, you can. Your ads can be as specific as, hey, don't forget to book your ticket. Thirdly, thanks to Facebook pixels, you can turn cold traffic into warm traffic. In other words, you can keep on targeting people who aren't responsive to your advertising campaigns and exclude those who are by keeping on advertising to them value, such as content-only articles articles, blog posts and videos and eventually turn them from a cold audience to a warmer audience who knows you, likes you and trusts you and therefore more likely to respond to your offers in the future. Another benefit of using Facebook pixels is it allows you to create what Facebook calls lookalike audiences. A lookalike audience is an audience Facebook creates for you to advertise to that is similar to one of your audiences that has performed a certain action. For example, you could have an audience of people who visited your website and decide to create a lookalike audience of your website visitors. In other words, Facebook creates another audience similar to the one who visited your website. What this means is that when you advertise your website to this lookalike audience, they are more likely to visit your website than other audiences and it allows you to increase your reach. Another reason why you should use Facebook pixels is that it allows you to track pretty much everything so you can cut the cord when something is not converting and double your efforts on what is working. For example, it allows you to know out of how many people who visited your website, how many of those subscribed to your newsletter. For example, if the data collected by Facebook shows that you had 1,000 website visitors and 30 people opted in, it means that your opt-in page is not converting and it needs to be fine-tuned to increase conversions. Lastly, because Facebook pixels allow you to track exactly how many leads and how many sales have been generated as a result of your Facebook advertising efforts, it becomes easy to measure your return on investment. And by knowing your ROI, it becomes easier to forecast the revenue generated from Facebook advertising and forecast the budget required to run Facebook advertising campaigns. In order to install a tracking pixel on your web pages, simply go to Manage Ads to access your advertising account. Then click on Ads Manager and click on Pixels. Then click on Set up a pixel, then click on Copy and Paste the code. This will be the code that you will need to install on the web pages you wish to track when using Facebook advertising. Facebook gives you instructions on how to do it. Should you be using a tool such as Lead Pages to create lead capture pages, you simply click on the lead page of your choice, then click on Lead Page Options, then click on Tracking Codes and then paste your code under Head Tag Tracking Code. And to check whether your Pixel has been installed, we recommend using the Google Chrome plugin called Facebook Pixel Helper. Simply install the plugin and then visit the web pages you have installed the Pixel on. If the Pixel has been installed correctly, the plugin will let you know that there's a Pixel on this page. If it hasn't been installed correctly, then the plugin will show that there's no Pixel installed. In order to use the Facebook Pixel to create custom audiences you can retarget, the process is slightly different. Simply go to Manage Ads to access your advertising account, then click on Ads Manager and click on All Tools. Then under Assets, click on Audiences. Then click on Create Audience and Custom Audience. You will then have five choices to create an audience based on a file with a list of people. If you have a mailing list or a customer list in a spreadsheet, you can simply upload it and target the people through Facebook. Website traffic. 
to create an audience based on your website visitors. For example, you could create an audience of people who have visited your product page, but not the checkout page. App activity to create an audience based on people who have taken a specific action in your app. Offline activity, to create an audience based on people who have interacted with your business offline. Or engagement, to create an audience based on people who have engaged with your Instagram and Facebook posts, such as people who have watched your videos, for example. Lastly, thanks to Facebook pixels, you can create lookalike audiences. In other words, create an audience that is similar to a specific group of people. To do so, under Create Audience, choose the option Lookalike Audience and under Source, select the custom audience you want to create the lookalike audience from. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I've got an even better bonus for you. If you want to know how to leverage the power of Facebook even further, I've got my Facebook account optimization video tutorial. I'm going to play a preview in just a second. Click the tab on this video and it's going to take you to where you've got instant access to that full video. Plus you're going to get another three videos from our best-selling Social Media 360 home study course and it's not going to cost you anything. In these additional three bonus videos, I'll reveal how to leverage the power of Facebook ads for more traffic and leads, how to monetize your Facebook marketing efforts and the common mistakes to avoid on Facebook to experience results much faster than anyone else. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Click on the thumbs up, it really helps us out. And also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, that way you'll see our newest videos. See you soon. Hello and welcome to this video titled how to create and optimize a Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page yet or would like to create a new one, then just follow this tutorial. So first log into your Facebook profile because you need to have a profile in order to create a Facebook page. Then click on the drop down menu on the top right hand side and go to create page. Then choose what it is that you want to promote on that Facebook page. What kind of business is it? Is it a local business? So if you have a local business that you want to promote on your Facebook page, pick this category because the template is different. Is it a company, organization or institution? Is it a brand or a product? Are you a public figure? You might be a speaker, a coach, you might be a singer. Then pick this one. Entertainment. That's if you are in the entertainment industry or is it a cause or a community? So is it a charity, for example, then you would pick that one. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just go and choose brand or product. That's the most generic one. And then choose the category. So is it an app that you're promoting? baby goods so I will just go and click on website let's pretend this is an online business I'm promoting so I'll put website and then put your brand name or your product name so I'll just put test and then click on get started then add a profile picture now if you are the face of the brand then you would put a headshot of you make sure that the headshot of you is a close-up it's not a cropped picture make sure that it's not pixelated it's a nice picture of you smiling with no messy or busy background so you really want to look professional when you upload a picture make sure that it's 170 times 170 pixels if the picture you upload doesn't fit well enough then you can go to pickresize.com and resize your pictures